Yeah! I've missed this right now. It's been so long, but this is a cold start up on a 1998 BMW Z3. Oh, baby. Yes! I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but the car now has 116,019 miles on it. And you might be wondering where the check engine light is. We cleared the code. Oh baby, oh man, it's been a while. This car, I tell you, has such an amazing feeling. Like, even cruising, you just, it feels just fun. Oh my God, Ed, that guy nearly just ran a stop sign. Oh, shoot. Well, that was terrifying. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna take the top off because just for a little bit, uh, because there's just some, you guys will see why I took the top off. I'll say this, this is the main reason why I wanted to go for a drive tonight. This vibe with this car, it's something that I've wanted to do for so long. Just drive down this street with the Z3, with the top down, with this beautiful weather today. Oh man, it's amazing. Yes, it's broken. Well, yes, it's been broken. And, well, more updates on how it's doing now and later in the video. But okay, so uh, the driving footage kind of ended abruptly because the battery died, but I've made it home. I have the worst headache, but I don't care because, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I will see you guys in the morning, uh, to tell you guys more about the car. And it is a new day. The Z3 is right here. Um, today we're actually taking it to the shop because the car is still leaking, unfortunately. So under the hood, uh, as you can see right there, that's where it was leaking from. The reason why it's it's a bit the cardboard's a bit off center because uh, when I went out for the drive, I didn't exactly park it in the exact spot. But still, uh, we have a suspicion that it's coming from underneath the engine bay, um, or maybe even this black uh, rod right here. But until we take it to the mechanic, we won't know for sure. I'll say this though: this car is a bit of a mess. Like there's dirt all throughout this side. There's stuff all throughout the windshield. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the windshield is a bit of a mess. I mean, honestly, it's better that this car is dirty from being driven than dirty from sitting in the garage. Oh, 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 shoot. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see it. That's a moment of stupidity. That sign says no right turn. There's a train, there's a train coming. And that guy tried to turn right. Genius move! This is the ideal weather, honestly. It is somewhere around the 60s, I want to say. And it's sunny. This is like perfect convertible weather. This feels a lot less sketchy than last night. Last night was somewhat terrifying. And I'm sorry, by the way, if hair is getting into the frame. Uh, this is one of the cons of having long hair. If you're planning to grow your hair out, just remember this. <laughs> Woo! Man. So, the car has been taken to the mechanic again, uh, and it's for an oil leak. Not a, not a major one, but 
we don't know if it's an actual oil leak or if it's just like residue. So, well, let me explain the full story. So in my hand are service documents, because of course it is. But this has basically what has been done to the Z3 since uh, the last time we saw it. So looking at this document, three things were actually done. So the oil filter housing was for the oil leak and then uh, the mechanic recommended that we also do the drive belts because at around the mileage that the Z3 is at, about 116,000 miles, uh, that's when they can tend to fail and go wrong. Uh, so the drive belts were $41.89 and $55.18. The oil filter housing was $11.93. The labor for the oil fil filter housing was $300 and the drive belts were a hundred dollars and this comes out to a total of six hundred dollars to fix all of this six hundred dollars wow and for proof here it is four hundred dollars in labor 164 dollars and 98 cents in parts uh 36 dollars and four cents in sales tax to give a total of six hundred dollars so $600 to fix the oil filter housing and two uh, drive belts. 600 bucks. So combine that with the $275 spent to fix the Ben solenoid and we are almost $900 into fixing this. Along with that, there's another $200 that we spent before trying to fi figure out what exactly is wrong with, uh, with the transmission issue. That was another 200, so about $1,100 so far into the Z3. Wow. All right, I gotta ask you guys this. If you were in my shoes, what would you do? Would you keep the Z3 or would you just say, okay, I can't deal with this anymore, time to sell? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if the filming looks a bit different in this video, it's because I'm using uh, the GoPro to film the entire video rather than just the driving segments. Let me know how this feels in the comments below. Would you guys rather have this or use my old camera, which is an iPhone 8 Plus? Yeah, so the old videos were filmed on an iPhone 8 Plus. This one's being filmed on a GoPro. Which one do you guys like better? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so it's a few hours later. Uh, I've changed into a different shirt, which is basically the inverted version of the shirt I was wearing earlier. Uh, but we're gonna go grab the Z3. So the Z3 is back after maybe, what, two minutes for you guys. For me, it was like four or five hours. But, man, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, well, I mainly need to drive it and test to see if the leak is actually gone. Hopefully for real this time. But, yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do this real quick. It's a nice day out for this. I'll say that. Huh, that's weird. It came... That is weird. I have to say that. I'll check the codes in a minute. So this is a new one. I'm behind an Aston Martin in traffic. Huh. What do you know? All right, so the Z3 is home now. Uh, as for what's happened, I don't know. Like, I we gotta test to see if the oil is is uh, still leaking. If it's not, then problem solved. And as for the check engine light, uh, diagnostic tool. Connected. All right. Put the car in the run position. Now let's see if it'll connect. And we're connected. All right, let's take a look at the diagnostic codes. P420 and P340 as before. Uh, but they don't appear to be doing anything. So what we're going to do is clear the codes. All right, the codes are cleared. And let's see. And they're gone. Yes. Now, I should clarify that the check engine lights showing are 
mere po false positives. The there's no uh, there's nothing that needs to be fixed regarding the P340 and P420 uh, according to my mechanic. So right now the best case situation is just clear the codes because there's nothing wrong, nothing that needs to be fixed. It's not like the transmission issue where I was being lurched forward. There's no issues. And just like that, today's video is over. Uh, the Z3 is back, kinda. I mean, it works, car runs. I don't know about if the oil leak's fixed or not. I hope it is, but yeah. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And regardless of how you feel, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you guys like the GoPro, also tell me that. Or if you want me to go back to the old camera, tell me that. Uh, but yeah, today's video is over. Be sure to also uh, leave a subscribe and I am out. Peace. Have a good day.